Hello everyone, happy Saturday. Welcome to Lesbian Answers. Let me apologize in advance for my not so existent voice. I don't really know how I lost it. I just woke up this morning and it was gone. So I've gotten a lot of great questions from everybody and my inbox has been pretty full. But I decided that it was appropriate to kind of answer this question first. How do you know if you are gay or bi? I think it's important that I clear this question up first. So for starters, let's go ahead and address the number one misconception. Especially nowadays, it is very common for mainly girls to go out and kiss or make out with other girls. Does this mean you're bi? No. Does this mean you're gay? No. It's very natural for girls to have this sort of curiosity and to want to experiment. It under no circumstances implies that you are gay or that you are bi. Just because you go to a party and you're all tipsy, Hey everybody, I'm having a great time. And you decide to make out with some hot chick, Hey baby, come over here. It doesn't mean that you are gay. It's natural. Tons of straight girls do it all the time. In fact, I even know straight guys that do it. So please, don't take that and think, oh my gosh, now I'm a lesbian. There are two things that make you either bi or gay. You have to have these two elements. If you do not have both, then you are not gay or you are not bi. The first is the initial attraction. Now I'm not talking about the fact that you can recognize when a girl, or if you're a guy, a guy is hot. Okay, so obviously anybody can see that. I'm talking about the fact that you're attracted to them. You get those butterflies in your stomach when you see them. You wouldn't mind, you know, sexually the same sex. That's the first element. The second element is the emotional draw. If you are only physically attracted to the same sex, then you are not gay or bi. Because what it means to be gay or bi is to want to be in a relationship with that person. Now, there are different levels of bisexuality. There are the bisexuals that are in relationships with the same sex, but innately they know that they're going to marry somebody of the opposite sex. I call these temporary bis. And then later on when they end up choosing the straight road, as quoting from the L word, they are called hasbians. So those type of bisexuals are very, very common. And it's because of those types of bisexuals that really full bisexuals aren't taken very seriously. The reason why your parents say to you, it's a phase, sweetie, it'll pass, you're just going through this phase. Because most of the time, it is a phase. Most of the time, people are not actually bisexual. It is just a fun experimental phase. It is very rare that I have met an actual bisexual. 50 50. They would be with a woman just as much as they would be with a man. It's equal. They want them the same emotionally and physically. If that is how you are, then you are an actual bisexual. Okay, now moving on to the lesbians now that we've kind of cleared up that whole bisexual thing. Normally when you first come out, you're not going to say, I'm gay. It's very rare for girls to do that. A lot of times we start out by saying, I'm a bisexual. So naturally, from the initial get-go, we're going to think that we also like the opposite sex. In middle school, I had boyfriends. Why? Well, because that's just what you did. That's what you do. You just, you date the opposite sex. So a lot of times, you, you may believe that you're bi, but later on, you find out that you are initially gay. There's a really great book called Same Sex in the City. I mean, it's an awesome, awesome book. It's written by Lauren Levin and Lauren Blitzer. It's kind of like a really clear way of looking at just homosexuality and things like that. And I'm going to read to you a passage from this book. Chapter one. No, I'm not going to read like that. That's retarded. Sure, you find women hot, but doesn't everybody? You don't look gay. You don't need any power tools. Guys, check you out. Nobody would ever guess you fantasize about your friends or even fallen in love with them. Sure, you've had feelings for guys, yet you wonder what it would feel like to kiss a woman. We've been there. Being gay comes from within. It's not a stereotypical cropped haircut that makes someone gay. Just because we enjoy weekly blowout and rocking little mini skirts doesn't mean we crave men. Our Prince Charming is rather a Cinderella. It's important to understand that in your mind, whatever perception you have as gay or bi or lesbian, 
Do not use that to kind of find yourself. There is no, you know, stereotype anymore. That whole dyke thing is, is breaking down. Now, of course, there are dykes out there, and you guys are awesome. But that doesn't define who you are. You could be any type of person and be gay or bi. You know, people are always shocked when they find out that I'm a lesbian. Why? Well, because they have in their mind this cookie cutter image of what lesbian should be. And it's odd for them when I don't fit that description. Anyway, that basically wraps up this whole, how do you know if you're gay or bi? I kind of gave you a vague description. Uh, maybe I'll make another video kind of elaborating on one or more topic. There are questions in my inbox that I still will be answering later on. So just because I haven't included it in this video, don't think it's not going to be answered. Keep the questions coming and most of all, comment below. It's really important that you share your opinions and that's the cool thing about YouTube. Anyway, so that's a wrap.